Hi students, in this topic and the subsequent ones, we are going to discuss a very important aspect of human resource management, which is performance management. And since we are talking about international human resource management, therefore, the aspect of international performance management is going to be discussed in these topics. Uh, you know that performance management is a very important aspect of human resource activities. Why is it important? It is important because unless you do not manage or you do not uh, evaluate performance, uh, you will not be able to analyze whether you are going according to your objectives, you are going according to the standards, and you are meeting the required criteria or not. So performance management is actually making sure that your organizational members as well as the organizational units, they are performing according to the set criteria. So when you set the objectives, in order to meet the objectives, you must perform, you must uh, uh, manage performance. So before we can discuss more about performance management, let's first of all define performance management. What is performance management? It is a process that enables the multinational enterprise to evaluate and continuously improve individual, subsidiary unit, and corporate performance against clearly defined preset goals and targets. So you can see that in this definition, there are three important elements. Number one, it is to evaluate and continuously improve. So the uh, objective is to evaluate and number two, to continuously improve. You just don't want performance to be stagnant at one level. You want the performance to continuously improve. You want the organization to rise. You want individual members of the organization to work better, to meet higher uh, standards and to raise their performance levels and then therefore uh, grow in the organization. So evaluate and continuously improve. Then the second aspect is whose performance, individual performance, as well as the subsidiary unit performance and the corporate performance. So that means that performance management is not just about the individual, it is about the entire organization, but at three levels. One is that you are managing, evaluating performance at the individual level. Secondly, you are evaluating it at the subsidiary unit level. And thirdly, you are evaluating the entire corporate performance of the multinational organization. Now, this is where the difference comes between domestic performance and international performance. Domestic performance is at two levels. It is at the individual level and at the corporate level. But when you go international performance management, it adds another tier in these levels, and that is individual, subsidiary, and then corporate performance. And this adds to the complexity and uh, the complicatedness of the process through which performance can be evaluated. The complexity, what issues are raised in this uh, process, we are going to discuss that in the next topics. So this is the second element of this definition. So whose performance, individual, subsidiary, and or corporate performance. And then how will you measure the performance? That is going to be against clearly set, predefined criteria, goals, and targets. So unless you do not have very much clearly defined, you do not have preset goals and targets, what are you going to measure the performance against? Uh, the uh, measurement of performance, the evaluation of performance is going to be useless unless you do not have already set standards that, okay, the organization is going to increase 10% sales, it is going to increase 20% market share, it is, and, and on the individual level, the person is going to achieve these particular targets, um, uh, get the, these many clients, increase the, this much portfolio of the organization. 
so you need to first of all set predefined criteria and then you go, are going to measure the performance against those clearly defined and this is very important clearly defined unless the criteria is vague it is not clearly defined it will not be able for you as hr managers to evaluate performance you will not be clear what are you going to uh, uh, what are you going to evaluate so these are the three important elements of the performance management process and uh, they are essentially in this process now international performance management has a number of uh, you know dimensions which add to the complexity of this uh, uh, process what are uh, these um, dimensions number 1 uh, diversity in cultures uh, production and operations geographical dispersal and variety of modes of operations so all of these things we have already discussed many times that these are the elements that affect international uh, human resource management international management and therefore they also affect international performance management and then the challenge is to simultaneously locally be re locally relevant and globally comparable so the performance criteria they uh, they have to be developed in a way that they are locally relevant they are relevant to the culture they are relevant to the work practices they are relevant to the customs of the culture of that particular country of that particular area but yet they are uh, performance criteria which are globally comparable so you can compare the performance of people working in pakistan iran uh, uk usa anywhere if your multinational is operating in all these countries your performance criteria should be created in a way that they can in incorporate both these dimensions they need to be locally relevant and they need to be globally comparable and this is the major challenge for human resource management practitioners that how do we create and develop such criteria which can be locally relevant and globally comparable so you can see in this uh, diagram that these are the various dimensions and the process uh, the perspectives the issues the actions and consequences in multinational enterprise performance so from the left side uh, you start from the pattern of priorities global or local emphasis and the pattern of priorities that is guided by uh, number 1 global corporate strategies roles processes and practices and then local strategies roles processes and practices so your uh, pattern of priority is going to be set both by the global strategies and by the local strategies and that is something which is complicated so which that is going to lead to performance management process for individual employees which is going to be then guided by number 1 remote appraisal sources and inputs and then number 2 local appraisal sources and inputs so the performance is going to be measured by criteria which is developed by the remote appraisal sources which are in the headquarters and the parent company and local appraisal sources which are in the subsidiary unit level and then that leads to how you develop the critical issues which are number 1 the criteria some criteria are implicit some criteria are explicit then the criteria that takes into account the person then what are the activities then what are the outcomes of the, the performance management and then the critical issues in performance management is what is the purpose of performance management number 1 is developmental you want to improve the performance of persons who you are evaluating and then you need to set the pay because performance is directly related with compensation and bonuses and then the third is how the tasks and roles they are going to be defined and then what type of timings so that is then again going to lead to additional subsequent assessment purposes and which is then going to lead to individual outcomes which is a performance management ka jo outcome hai usme individual outcomes mein ye hota hai ke जो इंडिविजुअल है उसको ट्रेनिंग की जरूरत है या नहीं है 
یا اس کو فردر ڈیولپمنٹ کے لیے کس طرف ریفر کرنا چاہیے دین کیریئر امپلیکیشنز دیٹ از دا پرسن پرفارمنگ ویل اناف ٹو گیٹ پروموٹیڈ ان دا کیریئر اینڈ دین فائنینشیل کانسیکوینسز دیٹ ویدر دے آر گوئنگ ٹو گیٹ پے ریزز اور بونسز اور نان اینڈ دین دیر آر آرگنائزیشنل آؤٹ کمز اینڈ آرگنائزیشنل آؤٹ کمز آف پرفارمنس از ہاؤ مچ کنٹرول یو ہیو دیٹ از ون آف دا میجر آؤٹ کمز آف پرفارمنس مینجمنٹ دیٹ یو آر ایبل ٹو کنٹرول دا ایکشنز بہیویئرز رولز اینڈ آل ٹائپس آف یو نو ایٹیٹیوڈ آف یور امپلائیز اینڈ یو میک شیور دیٹ دے پرفارم اکارڈنگ ٹو یور اسٹینڈرڈس دین یور ریپوٹیشن اف یور پرفارمنس مینجمنٹ کریٹیریا اینڈ پروسیس از افیکٹیو دین یور ریپوٹیشن ان دا انوائرمنٹ از گڈ اینڈ دین تھرڈ از دا لیگل کمپلائنس دیٹ اکارڈنگ ٹو دا لیگل لاز اینڈ فریم ورکس یو آر مینجنگ یو آر ایویلویٹنگ دا پرفارمنس آف یور آرگنائزیشنل ممبرز اینڈ دین یو آر ریوارڈنگ دیم اکارڈنگلی سو دیز آر دا آرگنائزیشنل آؤٹ کمز سو دس از اے ہولسٹک اینڈ کمپریہنسو ماڈل آف ہاؤ پرفارمنس مینجمنٹ پروسیس از انیشیٹیڈ وٹ گائڈز دا پرفارمنس مینجمنٹ پروسیس اینڈ دین وٹ آر دی آؤٹ کمز آف دا پرفارمنس مینجمنٹ پروسیس